Hi guys, welcome to isolation and speciation. So uh, in terms of the specification, we will be looking at two types of the speciation. So it's allopatric and sympatric speciation. So what is the speciation? It's a development of a new species from an existing species. So organisms become reproductively separated and it causes a change in allele frequency leading to a change in phenotype. So they can no longer breed to produce fertile offspring. So that's the common idea of speciation. So there are two types of the speciation, allopatric speciation and sympatric speciation. So allopatric speciation is with the geographical barrier and sympatric speciation is without the geographical barrier. But in terms of both of them, uh, that will cause the uh, reproductive isolation of the species. So um, uh, geographical barrier and not geographical barrier. Okay, so one more time, allopatric speciation, geographical barrier, sympatric speciation, not geographical barrier. So, uh, speciation, okay, two, par uh, two parts, as we've mentioned many times already. So, allopatric populations are geographically separated. It's influenced by different environmental conditions and leads to reproductive separation. Sympatric then, populations remain in the same area, but they are the same as allopatric speciation, reproductively separated. So it could be ecological, temporal, beha behavior, uh, mechanical, gam gametic, hybrid sterility, any of those could lead to the uh, reproductive isolation, separation. So uh, allopatric speciation requires geographical isolation. So two populations become geographically separated. There is a physical barrier that prevents interbreeding, for example, ocean, river, mountains. Population experience different selection pressures and different changes in alleles frequency could occur as well. So different alleles are more advantage. Uh, directional selection uh, acts on alleles. Allele frequencies change to mutation. And there is also a genetic drift. So the changes to the allele frequency will lead to the differences so to differences, uh, difference accumulating in gene pool, changes in phenotype frequencies. And the individuals from different populations will have change. Not, they are not able to breed with one another, so they are not able to produce fertile offspring. So at the end, two groups have become separate species. So uh, here we've got a past paper question to practice the um, speciation. So on the islands in the Caribbean, there uh, are almost 150 species of lizards belonging to the genus Anolis. And scientists believe that those species evolved from two species found, may, uh, found on mainland USA. So here you can clearly say it is asking you about the uh, geographical barrier because we're talking about different locations. So model answer for this, it's the geographical isolation. So no interbreeding variation has to come as the, uh, uh, from the mutation. Different selection pressures will occur. So different reproductive success and leads to the change uh, in the, obviously, organisms. So they are no longer to interbreed and produce fertile offspring, changing the uh, sequence of the alleles. So sympatric speciation then does not require geographical isolation because population does not have to become geographically isolated to become reproductively isolated. So... Random mutations could occur within populations, preventing that successful breeding. So the model answer for the sympatric speciation without the geographical isolation will follow us. It occurs in the same habitats. Mutation will cause different, for example, flowering times, reproductive separation, isolation. So different alleles will be selected and pass on to the next uh, generation. This is due to the disruptive selection. 
and eventually different species cannot will be produced which cannot interbreed to produce fertile offspring so as you can see the model answer differs only in the first sentence okay uh, you need to mention that it's in the same habitat for the sympatric speciation but for allopatric speciation it's in different habitats we've got geographical isolation then so allele frequency and how selection affects them so individuals are uh, able to breed so alleles obviously might be combined because gene pool contains all of the alleles within the population but allele frequency is obviously affected then by selection and environmental changes affect probability of an allele being passed on and its frequency but what you need to remember, the environmental factors do not affect the probability of the specific mutant allele arising. So they affect, uh, they affect frequency of a mutant allele that is already present within that gene pool. But evolution by natural selection is a change in the allele frequency within the population. So here we've got a quick flowchart how, how does it actually happen so you can pause the video and have a look through the bubbles to see how from the reproductive uh, separation we can actually change the frequency of the alleles within the gene pool so genetic drift then it's a change rather than environmental factors that will dictate Hate, which individuals will survive, breed, and pass on the alleles. So genetic drift, but not the uh, speciation, will take place within small populations because they've got a small uh, variety of the alleles, so there is less genetic diversity. So there is a small number of different alleles. There is no equal chance of each being passed on. So the alleles passed on will affect the whole population because obviously uh, frequency will be high as a small population and mutation will also affect the frequency of the alleles. So what are the effects of the genetic shift? They are higher than speciation. Population change is quick and they are really likely to develop into different separate species, okay? And in terms of the mutant allele in large population, it's diluted because its frequency is far less in much uh, larger gene pool, so the development is slower, okay? And there will be obviously less genetic shift. So to summarize, uh, this is the just a table to show you the type of the variations but you don't need to know them okay you just need to give the examples of the uh, isolations so remember allopatric geographical isolation and um, sympatric the same habitats right so that's everything for this topic see you later